Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the beautiful blessings that you send my way, the beautiful vibes. You're just opening up your lives to me. Let me know how your empathic gift has impacted your lives, how it's affecting you now, what are the things that you're going through currently and you know you're just steady out there just no matter what you're going through you're still pushing out positive energy which is such a beautiful thing and y'all keep doing that keep pushing it out keep just telling your truth and just keep sending love out so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings is definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know who i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback in the video or you're just telling me about you know your empathic gift this this just been placed upon you so uh if the video has been informative to you or just put you in a good place or give you a, a peace and understanding which i hope it really does you know go ahead and pass it on to the next person that might really truly need to hear that message or give me a thumbs up or like and even share it's all greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to you know get some kind of validation out of my videos and i hope that you can resonate with the content of my video and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and the music that I'm listening to that is so peaceful and I guess that's the reason why I'm talking like this so I apologize you know some people tell me my some of my videos sound like AMSR video <laughs> I was like I've never heard of that before it said because it's so positive and you send out good energy and I, I just feel different when I when I leave your channel and which is a very good thing so it's just like you know I'm glad I'm able to do that but I've just never heard that but it's funny when I hear that but uh, the meditation music that I'm listening to today is meditation music for positive energy clearing subconscious negativity relax mind body uh, 960 it just says 960 so I'll just post that link in the description box below and my video today is about Twin Flame 101 Hey Okas. Stay away from people that love you with limitations. I don't know about you, but it's just like loving me with limitations. Let me put nigga pause for this cause, y'all. I apologize. My bad, y'all. I had to take a pause for a cause real quick. My phone rang real quick. But nah, I don't know about y'all, but it's just like when it's like love with limitations is like getting a bad bundle deal like you get a bad cell phone plan with all these over coverages and you know all these you know fine print so by the time you get that daggone bill you gotta out like you, by the time you get everything at the end of the month you gotta outright this bill because you didn't have unlimited talk you didn't have unlimited text so when you have things in your life that has limitations on it especially when it comes to people that so-called love you those are the people you need to stay away from especially when you're on this journey lord have mercy just like dealing with this stuff i've had to deal with them for years but it's like since i've dealt with this stuff right here i had so many people that are in my life that were loving me for limitations it's like and you know those people i'm talking about y'all don't have them in your life especially if you know you're on something good you're you know you're you're you might not be the same person you were before they're trying to figure out what's wrong with you and they probably worried about you like do we need to send you to therapy you're not the person that you know i was talking to a month ago or you know talking to somebody a week ago i must be on something because my nose is itching lord and i ain't fearing nothing but I, i'm just about to speak some truth but you know when you deal with somebody like that you know people a wish that you know you'll just do good enough just good enough in their eyes like you know they don't want you doing better than them you know i'm the type of person i feel like all of us can win at the same time all of us can achieve things that are all you know i'm the type of person that is just like if i see my person my, my 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 sister or my brother like falling and i know i can help them oh no i'm gonna help you get up 
But nah, if you want to start, you know, dragging me along with you while, you know, I'm trying to pull you along. Oh, hell no. Nah, you got to go. <laughs> you got to go. Uh, you can't deal with people that loves you on limitations. It's just like, you know, when people walk out on their gifts or, you know, they, they give up on their dreams or anything like that. You know, they'll try to talk you out of yours or, you know, try to tell you to put yours on the back burner or wait on it. Or they'll try to downplay yours. And those are the type of people you need to not have in your life because it's like, you know, I've told you in many videos before, when people don't see their own dreams, they won't see them for you either. So it's just like some will be, you know, I've had people in my life that will purposely ask me what my next move was so they can pray on it. They would not work. So, I mean, it, it was sad because there was a lot of times I had to back myself away from people. And it's just sad when you come to a situation where, you know, if you're a person that has been adopted, has been in foster care or something like that, and you finally, you know, find out, you know, you, if you have siblings or not, or, you know, who your parents are, that is a big deal for you. And you should be able to express your happiness, but it's just like, you can't even really express your happiness around a lot of people because they don't want good for you. They might say, oh, girl, I'm happy for you. Or, oh, man, I'm happy for you. And they'll be secretly hoping that that mess will fall flat on, you know, you fall flat on your face. So when you're on your journey like that, pay attention to the signs that you might get that these people need to not be in your lives no longer. Because as long as you have people in your lives like that, even though you're going through things that just yourself, that might reflect on things that you might, might not be able to get that you, you know, your dreams or whatever, you might not be able to get at that point right now because you're still working on that structure. You're still working on that foundation because it's just like we, you know, we're sometimes we can be microwave people. And some people are like, what you mean microwave people? I'm not cheap. No, it's not about that. But it's just like when it comes to our blessings, we want stuff right now. And we don't understand how it might affect us us coming to get our blessings right now when we feel it's a need to get them might mess you up in the long run there's a reason why you're not getting your blessings right now there might be some healing that you need to do there might be some change in how you project things out or how you keep them in you know there could be a lot of things that you're doing but it's just like but it, the hardest thing to do you can change yourself, but you can't change the next person. So if you have somebody that's toxic in your life, that is just like draining you full of energy, draining you full of life, or just, you know, contradicting themselves or, you know, just blocking you from your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Stay away from those type of people. Don't, I mean, I'm, I'm that type of person, like I said, if I got a cell phone package or a cell phone bundle, I want to be able to get unlimited talk texts and stuff like that. I want to be able to get unlimited data. So it's just like when I get that bill, I know that set rate. So I got that certain amount of money pressed aside. So it's just like, at least when it comes to people that way too, you know, all friendships, all relationships are not going to be perfect. You're going to have your ups and downs. You're going to be learning more about this person each and every day. You can learn somebody. You can know somebody for 50 or 60 years thinking you know them. And then it only takes that one incident to make you look at them totally different. It can either be in a positive direction or it can be in a negative one. So when you're on your blessing, you're on your journey and you're heading towards your blessing. That's what I meant to say. Pay attention to your signs that are out there. Pay attention to the toxic things that you might want to turn away from. Because with us being empaths, we try to always see the good. And no matter how bad that situation is, we always try to reach for that good. Even though the red flags be all right there saying, hey, you need to not deal with this person. You need to not talk to this person. You know, pay attention to those signs. When you get those gut feelings about certain people that are in your life, you know, those people were there for a reason. You know, sometimes it can be hard that you have to deal with folks like that. You know, like I said before, I've had people that wish the worst for me. Even though, you know, like I, I've told y'all before, it's a God-given right. Everybody should know their background. Everybody should know who their family is. Regardless, it's not your fault from who you came from. It's not your fault <clears throat> on who you are, your nationality or whatever. God picked you for this person or for this certain situation for a reason. 
So it's just like, you know, when you have that dream, sometimes you have to keep things to yourself. Even though it could be the happiest things you want to be able to express, there are sometimes you can't say nothing until after the fact that it's happened because it's just people can't stop what they can't see. The left hand can't know what the right hand is doing. You know, and I had to, sometimes I had to learn that the hard way because there was times I thought I was happy. Well, I was happy, but I thought I was dealing with some real true friends. But there's times now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that everybody I came across has been negative because I've actually been blessed with some good friendships that I made along the way that, you know, I can, you know, even though me and these people might not still talk or we, we talk, but it's not every day on a normal day basis, I can still reach out and say, hey, how you doing? And, you know, and everything will be all good because we all got lives to lead. But you pay attention to those people, you know, people that will secretly put you down and try to downplay your, you know, your dreams or not see not there to really truly support you the way you are you know um just pay attention to things like that and you'll truly know because those are the type of people that will block your blessings in a minute so don't keep those don't block your blessings by keeping these people in your lives so i hope you are able to get something out of this message i hope we gave you some kind of truth and understanding because i felt like even though i was going through this is not something really i'm going through right now but i've experienced it and, you know, it's, it's became a habit. <laughs> so, you know, things happen, you know, you learn lessons and everything happens for a reason. I don't regret any people that I've ever met. I don't regret anything that I've ever experienced because I feel like everything that I went through has served its purpose. You know, there's times that, you know, I had to walk away from people that I truly didn't want to do that to. But it's just like, it's like a highway to heaven thing and it's not something that, you know, I truly understand, but there's a time where you're 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 meant for that purpose to help these people through trying times to be there at that special need. And then there's times where you know you just have to part ways and go on about your way. So you know things happen for a reason. Knowing that when things happen like this and they're showed to you for the forefront, that's just you know you're forewarning on hey you need to pay attention or hey you need to watch out for this because you're heading towards a path for greatness and you can't have people in your lives that's not really supposed to be there because they'll mess them up for you. So you know pay attention to the signs and I hope you are able to get some kind of validation or any kind of. You know you were able to resonate with the video drop me a line you know even if it's about the positive feedback of the video or even about your empathic gift or you know give it give it a like you know pass it on to another person that really truly might needed to hear this or you know spread love and positivity to people as much as possible like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my video and i hope you're having continuing to have a blessed week and knowing if you're going through a stressful day knowing there's always tomorrow that you can try to start over for a positive one so know that you are blessed and highly favored and you are always truly loved and know there's somebody always out there praying for your better good and i will see you on my next video peace and be wow